watching Friday TV. Yes, yes you are. So, tell the world, like, you what know, do you do? You know, some people say MC extraordinaire, you know, but since I've been in the game so long, I've done a lot of different things, you know, producer, rapper, writer, singer, uh, musician, uh, but it's all rock and roll. So what are you up to these days? Any new music? Yeah, we're dropping a new album. It's called Season One. It comes out uh, late summer, early fall. Uh, and the uh, first single is featuring Red Man, and I got a few cool people on the record. And uh, all y'all make sure you come out to the tours this summer. We're doing a promo tour across Canada through June. Um, and for our European fans, we're going to be there in July. Good and for our Japanese fans, we're going to be there in August. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then for the Frosh fans and all the college kids, come on out. We're going we gonna to go right back across this country and, and give the party to you as well. So Good a lot stuff. of things going on. Good stuff. How'd you get involved with the Freedom Festival? Oh, two old friends, you know, I've known forever. Gavin Gerbs, the Gerbs, and uh, and Big C, Craig Mannix. Um, they've been putting this together for the past, you know, two, three years. And uh, they asked me to do it last year, but uh, our schedules were conflicting. So when they called me again this year, I'm like, I'm in. I'm in. I did have to have to come right back from Syracuse this morning, though. I was out there rocking with Chaos and Drake. What's up with y'all? Good We're doing the, um, the U.S. college tour right now, so kind of multitasking out here. So it's a nice little, it's a nice little break to be outdoors. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh. Is marijuana important to you? It's been important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been actually, it's been more of. A lot of fun in my life. A lot of fun. Um, I didn't start as early as, as most people I know. And uh, and I still don't smoke as much as most people I know. I mean, <laughs> try keeping up with the Blunt Brothers Coalition, you know what I mean? That's Red Man Method Man, yeah. the new Cheech and Chung. There's no keeping up <laughs> nope. with the two of them. Uh, no, but we do smoke good, we smoke quality. And, uh, you know, even for the kids out there, I say this, man, I do still smoke, but I just smoke a little bit from when, I'm, from when I'm done working. You know, as a uh, as a celebration or a, or a nightcap, you know. Yeah. But I like to keep pretty clear through the day. So now that I'm done working right now, I think I might just go indulge. There's uh, plenty available. Yeah, yeah, so I hear. So. <laughs> How do you feel about the current hip-hop scene? Like, do you think it's dead or did Jay-Z resurrect it? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I don't think he resurrected it because I don't think it was ever dead. It's just forever changing. You know, the tours still go out every year. You know, we run into big rigs and big tour buses every year. The fans come out every year. Um, I think one cool thing about hip-hop shows and events nowadays, um, they're so eclectic and they're so diverse, so you get in the rock and the, and, the, and the funk in there and, and the electro and the dance and everything all under one roof because the kids really don't just listen to one genre anymore now. No, they don't. They're blended. It's totally blended, so the crowds out there are beautiful, you know, just every color from under the sun. And, uh, and, uh, you know, different acts all on the same stage. So, if anything, hip-hop has morphed into something bigger. And we're touching more people now. And it really takes a chance.
champion to go out there and represent hip hop. And there aren't a lot of champions left. Um, some of the kids coming up are holding the line really well, and some of the JCs or myself, you know, who have been around a little longer, and Chaos and all the boys, and, and, and Outcast and then Cardinal, we still, um, we're out there still representing and keeping it up to a high level. So yeah, it, it ain't dead. It, we just we have moved on into it into a whole new wonderful world. Good job. Yeah. Is there any advice you have to give to the new kids in the game? Uh, uh, yeah, I'd say uh, the advice I always the best advice I always have to give is. is From the underground tapes album, this record was a whole lot of fun. If you know it, sing along. Check it out, dollar dollar bill, y'all. Uh, are these the hardest shoes to fill, y'all? Check uh, it in. As far as money's concerned, I'm a breaking in. You know the club shoes get player, break it in. I never heard a search plus. The way we talk was like two kids. Who gets this busy? It's smart. Seven on my ties and burnt on my bridges. With the art of being broke, leaving y'all folks in switches. Like, who's that? Who that? Who's that? Y'all focus on ones I let two stacks. I'ma prove that. The funk bread in my veins and my hands running my brain. They want him to say my definition is big sexy, but running from my way the classic, dresses in the game, moving past it Save it for a drastic measures Put the time and paper, take the secret plastic pleasures Small car, a hard bar and divine pressure The lowest I go with 50-50 split No less up Ride with me, man, while we conquer this earth Please, ready down the state, call rap for what it's worth For words, for better Is it funny or love? Wild mouth, to get ya Is it funny or love? It's travel. You know, when you're in when you're in the music business or anything in enter entertainment, especially coming out of Toronto or out of Canada, to get some real perspective on the game, to travel. Because you find that the, uh, the perspective you get from being away and seeing how other people work uh, and how the business works in bigger markets even, uh, gives you an opportunity to come home and be more focused and not necessarily be held down by the so-called Canadian curse. Yeah. You know, which I don't believe in. I just believe in traveling, getting out there to see it, coming home, sharing, working, and just constantly globetrotting. So to the kids out there, if you can't afford the plane ticket, get the bus ticket, get the train ticket. If you can't afford the train ticket, get the bus ticket. Bus ticket, $90 to New York? That's right. I know it. That's right. And just go and see the sights and, and listen to the radio and feel the energy and uh, bring it on back home. All right. Thank you very much. Is there anything you want to pimp out? Uh, yeah. Socrates, season one. The album, go get it. It will be out by the end of this summer. It's a wonderful collection of everything that you've expected to me since the expected of me from the beginning. So uh, come on and be a part of that and look out for the tour. Where can they find you? Oh yes, myspace.com slash Socrates. You can find me on Twitter as Big Socks. That's B-I-G-G-S-O-X-X. -X. And uh, of course I'm on Facebook under Big Socks as well. So if you guys want to say anything, you want to make any requests, hit me up online. All right, thank you. Peace out. Is it funny or love? Don't work, don't better. Is it funny or love? Wow, wow, look at ya. Is it funny or love? You're a nerd, don't work. Yeah, yeah, don't work.